Okay, in the given uh, triangle ABC, angle C is 90 degrees. From C, if we drop a perpendicular uh, to AB, the CD altitude is splitting the triangle into two uh, smaller triangles. One is the left side triangle ACD, another one is the right side triangle BCD. The left side triangle has an in circle whose center is P. Similarly, the right side triangle has an in circle whose center is Q. Uh, we need to find the distance between P and Q. We will proceed step by step. In first step, we will try to find the distances AD, BD, CD. And once we do that, uh, we will try to find the in radius of these two circles and using that in third step we will try to find the distance PQ. First, in any triangle if one side is 3 and other side is 4, we know that the hypotenuse is going to be 5, 3 square plus 4 square is going to be 5 square, right? So this is true for even 3x, 4x and 5x. So in uh, our triangle is also, in our triangle also, one side is 15, other side is 20. So the third side can be said as 25. Using simple Pythagoras theorem we can find it out. Or the left side is 5 times 3, right side is 5 times 4, therefore hypotenuse is going to be 5 times 5. Using this 3 is to 4 is to 5 concept also, we can try to find uh, the distance ABS 25. Now that we find the distance ABS 25, uh, let's proceed one step further. We will see that in any right angle triangle, if I drop an altitude from the 90 degrees vertex to the hypotenuse, I will find two triangles. Let's call this one as ABC. I will find uh, two triangles, left side triangle ABD, right side triangle CBD. We should also notice that these three triangles are similar triangles. The left side triangle, right side triangle and the bigger triangle are similar triangles. Let's assume that this particular angle is 60 degrees and this particular angle is 40 degrees sorry 30 degrees right let's assume that this particular abc triangle is 90 60 30 degree uh, angle the triangles now uh, if i look at the left side triangle angle a is 60 angle d is 90 therefore the third angle is going to be 30 degrees similarly in the right side triangle one angle is 30 angle c is 30 one angle is 90 angle d is 90 therefore the remaining angle is going to be 60 degree so if I notice my left side triangle, my right side triangle and the entire triangle, all these three triangles have one angle is 60 degrees, one angle is 90 degrees and one angle is uh, uh, 30, 60 and 90 degrees. So if these three triangles have all their angles are equal, then we can say that all these three triangles are similar triangles. If these three triangles are similar triangles and the sides are also in the same ratio. If x is to y is to z is the ratio of the first triangle, then x is to z is to uh, x is to y is to z only will be the ratio for the remaining two triangles also. So using that concept in our problem, we can see that the bigger triangle ABC is in the ratio of 15 is to 20 is to 25. The sides are in the ratio of 15 is to 20 is to 25, which is nothing but 3 is to 4 is to 5, 5 being the hypotenuse side. Now if I look at the left side triangle, my left side triangle hypotenuse is 15. So if my left side triangle hypotenuse is 15, my sides should be in the ratio of 3 is to 4 is to 5, right? Because the left side triangle, right side triangle and bigger triangle are similar triangles. So if the bigger triangle is in the ratio of 3 is to 4 is to 5, my left side triangle also should be in the ratio of 3 is to 4 is to 5 with 5 being the hypotenuse. So if 15 is the hypotenuse, then the remaining two sides should be 9 is to 12 is to 15. Only then the ratio will be 3 is to 4 is to 5. So I can say that this side is 12, this side is 9 and this side is 12. Now if I look at the right, uh, right side uh, triangle, I can see that the hypotenuse is 20. If hypotenuse is 20, the remaining two sides should be 12 is to 16, only then 3 is to 4 is to 5 ratio can be maintained. If the remaining side is, uh, sides are 12 and 16, I can see that this is 12 and this is 16. So as I can see, my base is added together 9 plus 16 equals 25, which we have already found out in our first step itself. So we have just figured out the sides of our smaller triangles. So the left side triangle sides are 9, 12, right side uh, triangle sides are 16 and same 12. Now let's proceed further to find uh, the in radius of the left side triangle and the right side triangles. In left side triangle, what is the area? Area can be said as half into base into height, which is half into 9 into 12 which is half uh, 9 into 6 which is 54. Now area can also be said as in radius into semi perimeter. For any triangle we know that half into base into height is one way of telling the area. Another way of telling the area of the uh, uh, of any triangle is in radius into semi perimeter. What is perimeter? Perimeter is 9 plus 12 plus 15 which is 36. 
if perimeter is 36 sum of all the sides is 36 then semi perimeter is going to be half of 36 which is 18 so in radius into 18 is 54 my area therefore i can say that my left side radius is 3 similarly my right side triangle's area is given by half into base into height which is half into 12 into 16 which is 96 for right side triangle also i can say that my area is given by in radius into semi perimeter what is my perimeter 16 plus 12 plus uh, 20 which is 28 plus 20 48 if my perimeter is 48 semi perimeter is half of 48 which is 24 so my area is given by in radius into 24 which is 96 therefore my right side radius is 4 so i can establish that my left side radius is 3 and right side radius is 4 now looking at this most of us will tend to say that my distance pq is nothing but this radius plus this radius therefore 3 plus 4 7 is the distance between p and q but that is not the right answer pq is not equal to left side radius plus right side radius we'll look in the next page why pq is not equal to left side radius plus right side radius so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to write this as 3 and from here if i'm if i'm making a perpendicular drop to the right side radius i can see that this the entire distance is 4 so this is 3 and this is going to be 1 now in uh, any circle if there is a tangent from center if i draw a perpendicular line to the tangent only that is my radius from center if i draw some random line these are not my radius from center only if i draw a, a perpendicular line to my uh, tangent that perpendicular line is given by my radius so similarly in this a d c assume that this is a circle in this a d c uh, triangle this is my circle where this is my in radius p so this perpendicular distance is what is given by r this perpendicular distance is what is given by my r which is 3 but uh, r line pq this pq is not perpendicular to cd cd is tangent to the circle so if this line pq this pink color line pq is not perpendicular to cd this pink color line cannot be equal to r but this line is perpendicular to cd this distance is perpendicular to cd therefore this distance is given by my radius 3 in other words similarly right side also this left side part is not 3 this right side part is not 4 but this part is 3 and this part is 4 because from a center the perpendicular distance to the tangent is what we will call as radius any line to the from a center any random line to the tangent that distance we will not call as radius only the perpendicular distance to the tangent is what i will call as radius therefore if i have to draw let's call this point as r if i draw this triangle pqr i can see that this distance is 3 plus 4 7 pr is 3 plus 4 7 qr is 1 so i need to find what pq is using pythagoras theorem i can say that pq squared is 7 square plus 1 square which is 50 49 plus 1 50 therefore pq is given by root 50 which is same as 5 root 2 if i have to write it in decimal format it is going to be 7.07 .07. so my distance pq even though it is very very close to 7 it is not exactly 7 it is 7.07 .07, or in other words 5 root 2 or root 50 in answer options you will have both these uh, 7 and uh, root 50 or 5 root 2 so if you end up taking 7 as the option even though it is very very close you will not get the right answer as 7 so the right answer for this is root 50 or 5 root